Well, at least we have Mandalorian. Hey guys, just doing a little video here. Uh, wearing this because Montreal won against Vancouver last night. I got to see that game. Never seen halves before. Anyways, totally irrelevant. So, literally a day before the movie comes out, the reviews are starting to come out for Rise of Skywalker. And it's pretty much what I expected. Whatever your problems or your praises are for The Last Jedi, there's one thing that we can really all kind of agree on is that it didn't do anything to set up Rise of Skywalker. It ended storylines. It concluded stuff. The only thing you had at the end of that movie was that the Resistance was still going to have to fight the First Order, except all the characters, all the major characters were either dead are gone, and the only two that you had was Rey and Kylo, who Rey has already beat twice. You're literally setting yourselves up for a Team Rocket conclusion. That's why I said to a few people that if JJ could somehow set up, execute, and conclude a trilogy, let alone a saga, all in one movie, I would never make a lens flare joke again. However, there have been a lot of reports about several test screenings, apparently six at least, with six different endings, all of which not ending well, and reshoots happening up until less than a month before this movie premieres? That's not a good sign. There are some people who are putting out defense saying that sometimes movies are put together last minute, and sometimes there's last minute changes that need to be made to help the movie be it's as good as it could be. Here's my problem. You could have done that if you set this trilogy up like you should have. If you're going to release three movies in five years, you should have a plan. You should have a person who knows what they're doing. You should have an overseer who's actually doing her job correctly and properly forecasting out this series, this franchise, this saga. I'll give Kathleen Kennedy credit for Rogue One. She did come in and fix a bunch of stuff. There was a lot of problems with that movie. And the reshoots and the rescheduling, which was her idea, did fix that movie. However, her complete lack of any form of control on Johnson. I don't know what Johnson did or what Johnson has on these guys, but he was given such free reign, which is a cool idea. That's a cool idea to do. But in a trilogy like this, you need to know what's going on. You need to have a Kevin Feige. And Kennedy has not been that. She fixed one movie. And then she went back and lied to everyone saying that we're going to give great care to all of the original Star Wars characters by murdering them all. Now admittedly, yeah, you needed to set up a new trilogy, you needed to set up a new cast of characters, but this is not the way that I thought this was going to go, funny enough. I went from being an absolutely avid fan who bought a bunch of merch before Force Awakens came out. I bought all these stupid buckets full of popcorn. I went in so excited to Force Awakens. I came out eh, entertained. I went into Rogue One and I came out absolutely dazzled. I enjoyed that movie. Yes, the characters are really bland. There's a lot of exposition, but it was a different kind of movie and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed its different scope. And then The Last Jedi came out and it all turned around. I didn't even go and see Solo in theaters. I saw it on Netflix and it's it's not that good. So now we're coming into the Rise of Skywalker and it is very evident that Disney is taking a long break from Star Wars, at least theatrically. They are not going to touch this product for at least another two years, I think. The Mandalorian's doing well, but it's starting to falter a little bit from what I've heard. But we do have the return of Clone Wars, the animated series. But I honestly, they need to get their shit together. They need to. If they're still going to let Johnson do his trilogy, by God, he needs a script supervisor. He needs someone to help him make this movie. They can't do this in five years again. They can't do this. They've proven that they can't. Unless they have a plan right from the start, but they clearly don't. They need to figure out their shit because this has just been an absolute disaster. Who thought that when Star Wars was given to Disney, that it would be this... Okay, admittedly, some of you did think that. Especially when they made the decision to make all of the books, comics, everything, from The Last Jedi to just before The Force Awakens, all of this, 30 years of literature and everything, mean nothing. That was your first mistake. Now, admittedly, I understood why they did it. It still screwed a lot of things up, but I understood why they did it. They were going to have to go with all these stories and base it off novels 
and really give no one any surprise. And also they would have to deal with all the copyright and paying off these authors and all this stuff. And Disney wants all the money for themselves. Again, from a business perspective, I totally understand why they did it. But then there have been people like Dave Fioni who have been slowly bringing in Star Wars elements, Star Wars characters from the legend stuff into it. He, he brought in so many different aspects into the Clone Wars. Darth Bane, Thrawn and the Rebels. He did a lot of this Try to try and save face for Star Wars. I know a lot of people have already said it, but Dave Fioni really should be Kathleen Kennedy's job. He doesn't have that producer experience. Yes, he's not married to Rob Marshall, but he knows Star Wars. This man lives and breathes it. Kennedy is a producer. She doesn't know Star Wars though. Or at the very least, she doesn't know what to do with it because she's proven that. And this is just a giant red flag that Disney needs to take a big step back, which looks like they've done. Looks like Bob Iger has admitted that. They need to take a step back and they need to figure out what the hell they're going to do. Because in five years, a lot of people went from being huge Star Wars fanatics to the completely split fan base that it is now. I never imagined that it was going to be this divided. I feel that the Star Wars trilogy, this trilogy, is going to end with a whimper. I'm seeing it tomorrow, but the part that I am most excited to see, the part that I'm most anticipating, is what the crowd does after the movie ends. Because I remember seeing Last Jedi opening night, the first showing, uh, Thursday at 7 p.m., and one guy clapped when the movie ended. And when he realized that no one else was clapping, it was like... I'm very interested to see if this happens because there's going to be a lot of Star Wars fans there. I imagine there's going to be some arguments. Someone's going to mention, Last Jedi sucks! And all. Oh, I'm very excited to see just the absolute barbarism that's about to happen. But either way, guys, those are my thoughts before I go into Rise of Skywalker. What are your guys' thoughts on what's going to happen with Star Wars? Are you guys excited at all? Because, I don't know, man. I just want this year to end. I want to have a year where we don't have to worry about Star Wars anymore. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little ramble here. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. And, of course, my Rise of Skywalker review will be up tomorrow night, so keep an eye out for that.